Hello everybody, welcome to a new video of James Pizza. Uh, today we're going to work uh, on the axles for the uh, rear subframe for the VA Turbo project. So if you're new to the channel, this is my W124 station wagon. I'm going to change to a VA Turbo and in several stages. So if you're new to the channel, have a look in the right corner of you my logo. You can click on it to my main page, see all the other videos. Or have a look on yespeacher.com. The link is over here. So, the axles. So I had um, what I have changed uh, for the people who didn't see the other videos. W124. Rear subframe uh, did a bit changed to get an S210 or a W210 differential in the back. S210 rear wheel hubs. So the axles that will be in there are from a W220. That was the plan. So these are uh, W220 rear axles. They have the same diameter as the S210. That's two millimeters bigger. I'll put the info below the video. I also use this uh, bigger axle in my W201. Uh, that had rear wheel hubs also from an S210, but the axles were from a W140 S600. That's how it came to the same idea as this. But I thought, yeah, uh, this car would have more torque. My guess is between seven and 800. Uh, so I needed to do something. So I bought these axles, but they are not solid when I dismantled them. So I thought, it's a pain in the ass, of course. So then I came to the conclusion, um, if you have S600 axles from a W220, they should be solid. I'm not sure about that, but this is pretty hard. I tried to drill a hole in it just by hand. Uh, yeah, almost not possible. So, um, also, the axles on the W201 were shortened. They were cut in half and uh, they were machined and welded back together. I did not do that myself, but somebody else did it. Very good job. That will be good for, yeah, that car has 585 newton meters at the uh, flywheel or at the engine. So uh, that will, will be not be a problem. So I did a search on Google, found this company, yevdc.nl. Um, they are also sponsoring this video. I got some discount on the axles. So, and I think uh, it's very good. They make a very nice product. That is why I'm going to do this. They are, have experience with making custom axles. They also do it for the, for racing, all kind of race classes and sporty cars. So have a look on the website. I will put the link below the video. I think they made a very nice product. So what was the thing? These axles were 16 millimeters too long. So I needed something that was stronger, of course, and shortened. Uh, so they made me this axle. And I think it's just awesome. You don't have to ask them what it's made of. And they're not going to tell you because I also asked that. <laughs> they're not going to tell you. So if you want any info because your website is in Dutch, uh, just ask me. So, uh, axles are hardened. That's why they have these uh, nice colors. They will be coated, but I will do that when they're completely assembled and just slide uh, the rubber um, piece backwards, paint it, and then uh, so it will be... Uh, will be good. So the another difference what is in there is uh, these joints are pressed in to keep them in place. These pieces are pressed in this opening. So normally in the older axles you have a clip like I also have on the new ones. The, uh, the, 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 the joints that are on the W140 also have a clip but these don't have. So uh, you got two sides, of course you got these joints, they will be pressed over here, the clip will be mounted. Of course first you need to put the cage on, otherwise you cannot get it in there. Uh, you got of course the, the balls that needs to go in here to support and that you have a moving joint. Um, Dismantling is a little bit of a puzzle. One side is pretty easy, that's this side. You can just 
uh, with a hammer and uh, you can just hit this cap off and the other one. The other one, this is a little bit dirty, but it's pressed in. It's also on the older axles, the same thing. So what I did on the older axles, I just took a one millimeter uh, disc uh, with a grinder, grind this half off, and then you can just remove it. I have it done on this one. This is a little bit dirty, but this is how I did it. You can see it's removed. What I do then is, uh, after when I assemble it, clean it, and just spot weld it on four points, and then it will be good. Uh, also, there is an O-ring underneath, so you don't have, don't weld it completely through. You should not do that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to assemble one axle, uh, because it's a very shitty, dirty, greasy job. Um, also, you need to grease the internal joints with special grease. I will show you that. So this is not meant to be an advertisement, but this is what I use. Then you know what I put in there. This is special grease. You cannot do just bearing grease in it. This is the grease I use. And it's a very dirty black, uh, dirty uh, grease. So uh, that's it. So 60 millimeters shorter. These axles um, and... The, the benefit is, of course, I have an automatic transmission behind this car, so that would be, it can handle more than, yeah, it's just, it's just easier on your axles when you have an automatic transmission. But these are also used in uh, race classes, so, uh, and it's a pretty fat axle. I think this is, have a look, 29 mil. It's 29 millimeters. Underneath the V12 is 32 mil. But he says this, these Mercedes axles are very hard and can, uh, not very flexible. So uh, I really trust this guy. So uh, I think he's, he knows what he is. No, he knows what he's doing because if you look, also look to the quality, it's it's very very nice. So have a look at his website. I will put a link below the video. I think it's it's a very good quality product. So let's start with the assembly.
This one was a bit of a hustle, it took me 30 minutes to get the, the joint good together and moving. So uh, it's just not that easy, but it's now in and it moves. So I will put the axle in the subframe and show you how it looks. So, got the axle in. Nice and tidy. Looks pretty good. Uh, fitment maybe they could be about a few mil shorter because I had to to lower it to get it in between but the axle is moving it has like a centimeter of play but uh, to get it in if just the play is like the same as the thickness of this this cap that is uh, in the flange of course so uh, yeah so it's pretty good so axle is in like you see it's a pretty dirty job it's very greasy and that sort of stuff so what I'm going to do is uh, I have to put uh, some spot welds on the cap, on this cap, four points so it uh, stays on, nice and tidy. Put some uh, clamps back on the rubber and uh, on the front ones, then clean the axle and uh, get some coating on the axles and then slide it backwards. So that's it for this video, so very nice product from uh, Jay. Have a look, they say frames. So I put a link below the video. Uh, have a look on the website if you're looking for custom axles and lengths. So uh, how they work, I sent my axle through them with the joints and I told them to get them 60 millimeters shorter, they did that. So uh, very nice, very nice product. So thanks for watching. If you got any questions, have a look below the video. Or here, here in speedshop.com. Um, for the finished products, I will make some pictures and uh, put them on my website, jamespeedshop.com. So the link is also below here. Look at all the other playlists and the other projects. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about this and uh, I will try to answer them, of course. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.